hey there uh, welcome back uh, so in this video what we'll do is we'll try to write a logic to get a, a list of projects we have created and try to display in our uh, dashboard page okay so first uh, let us write the endpoint to fetch the projects we have created okay so in this uh, dashboard i'll start creating uh, first we will name this as you know projects and the refetch will give the name as refetch projects okay and he's loading and then use the use query from react query okay hook so that is use query and name will give is projects and in the callback function we will use axios okay and call get method and the return type will create one type here in the utils section so going back to the utils i am going to create a new file called types dot ts and in this i will create a type here so for now let me name that as a project with shots okay so project with shorts so let me name this as project with shorts okay and uh, so this would be of type project from our model and we'll add one more uh, additional property that is list of uh, short okay yeah so this is the type so going back to the dashboard page so this would be a written type of a list of project with shorts okay so let's fine yeah this and inside this the api which we have to call is this api slash projects which you have created in the previous uh, video and then uh, then response we will return that response dot data okay yeah so uh, this is the uh, function to fetch all our projects fine so now the uh, calling of api is ready so just uh, beneath uh, this box we will create one more box where we'll try to show the projects list okay so give margin top for this 10 and okay heading okay so heading and we'll make it act as h2 tag okay and give margin bottom as 4 and font weight i'll make this as semi bold and then font size 2 times excel and inside this the text i will wrap is my studios okay fine so now ideally this should be reflected so let's go check now so if you go and see here my studios okay yeah so going back to our code base after this editing we will try to render based on if it is a loading the projects are loading okay so we will wrap inside our uh, center component and give it to this as 100 percent and text align as center okay and then give a spinner here if it's a loading we'll indicate that uh, we are loading okay so margin right three and then size as small and uh, speed one second okay and then text we want to show is loading studios yeah so the text we will import here so this is what will show if the uh, call we are making to our api to uh, fetch the list of projects is loading this is what will be showcasing okay fine and now the one more condition is 
and this is not loading and uh, projects length we have completed the api call and we got the uh, length of the project as zero that means no projects are yet created so this is what we are going to showcase okay so again this we will wrap in the center component and give padding in all direction 10 and then border radius we will give excel and the background color i'll give here white and width as 100 percent color black alpha will give little darker 700 and then text align center okay so in, in this we will use the text component and wrap the text and give some background color for this as well so let's give this as you know white and here the tech content will be showcasing is uh, showcasing is no studio available yet okay yeah so this is when uh, we have made a pay call but uh, we found zero rows in our projects table and that is when we showcase this text okay fine if there is a list of projects that is where we will wrap around the vstack component and uh, give spacing as uh, 10 and width will give 100 percent okay and here we will showcase use the projects list and map through that and take each project and try to render a component okay so here uh, we will write one separate component called project card and in that we will uh, configure uh, the things required for showcasing of a project so let's go to the component section okay so here i will create a new folder called uh, projects and inside that we will write uh, all components that are needed for our projects uh, section okay so uh, i'm going back to the project section and i will create a new file called project card.tsx okay so that is project card.tsx okay and uh, so let me name this again as same project card mm -hmm. so let's give caps okay project card and this would receive params of the project that we want to showcase okay and also callback function let's name this as a handle refresh projects okay so since this is a typescript we have to mention the types of them so here project so this would be of type project with shorts so we will import that so i'll go here so let me import that project with shorts okay and handle refresh projects this is a callback function okay so yeah fine then these are the inputs for this component okay fine so here we we would uh, store a number of variables accordingly we will showcase the components on the screen so first thing is is waiting payment for this project okay so we will make use of this variable so we will capture this uh, variable here is waiting payment so if there is null uh, not null value in stripe payment id that means we are not waiting okay so that is why we are storing it this way and is waiting training and training this depends again project dot uh, stripe payment id this should be not null and at the same time uh, replicate model id should not be null okay fine so then is ready then again here project dot model status should be succeeded okay and he's training so if it is training depends upon three uh, variables that is project dot model status is equals to processing okay or pro, uh, project dot model status can also be 
ए पुशिंग और प्रोजेक्ट डॉट मॉडल स्टेटस कैन ऑल्सो बी क्यूड ओके सो दिस आर द थ्री थिंग्स ओके दैट सिग्निफाइज इफ इट्स इन ट्रेनिंग मोड और नॉट ओके then now we'll focus on rendering the components okay first is we will wrap all the stuff inside the box component so for this the attribute that we will give is position so position will make this as a relative and a background color okay so background color i will give this as white and the width of this box will make it make it as 100% and padding top i'll give this as a 4 and uh, padding bottom again i will give little more so 10 and uh, padding in the x direction both left and right will give it as a 5 and border radius border radius i'll give it as xl okay and uh, shadow make this as a large fine so now inside this box we will uh, again use a vertical stack and try to wrap all the uh, things that we can think of okay so vertical stack can give your spacing is 4 okay and align items uh flex start okay so let give let's give us a flex start and inside this again use a flex component and give width as 100% okay and now again uh, wrap all the things inside box so give the flex as one so that it occupy as much as space it needs in this now we are going to use the text component and try to wrap all the things inside this component okay so that is text so let's use that text in first the font size we will make is 2 times xl so that it looks a big quite big okay and font weight will make this as semi bold and here we will write our studio name okay so studio and the name we will wrap inside the bold tag okay so uh, here we will define a, a one util function which uh, ref, uh, kind of refines our studio name so going to where we so we will create one util function uh, so let's go to the utils section and then create a uh, one new file called you know projects.ts and in that uh, let's create one util function called get the refined studio name okay so i'm just creating your uh, new file so let's name that as projects.ts okay so in that we will create a one uh, function called export const get refined a uh, studio name and the input param for this pro, uh, function would be uh, of type project so let's import that and uh, so after that the condition check here is if uh, project dot uh, instance name is equals to uh, the whatever the uh, value we have configured in our environment variable that is next uh, public replicate instance uh, token if this is the case we will return uh, the project dot name else uh, we will return a uh, project dot uh, instance name okay so this is the util function so now uh, so already we have exported this so we are going to consume this in uh, in this project called uh, component okay so going back here so i'm going to import that so let's import that uh, get refined studio name and uh, input param for this is of uh, type uh, project so and we have given space here so this is the uh, uh, that is how we showcase the name of the particular studio then now uh, just beneath this so based on this uh, if uh, is ready is true or not so based on that we are going to render the batch saying that how many uh, shots are left in that particular project okay so on color scheme i'm going to give it as a teal and uh, here first i'm going to display the credits left in that project and also uh, shots left okay the text okay fine so this is nothing but how many shots are left in particular project that uh, 
it, this signifies that okay then after this uh, text component i'm going to uh, write one more text component which showcases the uh, date at which it was created okay so text text transform okay and capitalize it and let's make uh, the font size here as small okay and the color i will make here the beach okay beach of 500 okay and close this text component and inside this uh, we are going to use a, a one uh, function format relative function from date fns so you just install uh, the dependency like this so npm install uh, date uh, fns i have already installed so once you install this you just import format relative from that okay fine so we are going to use that format relative function that is a uh, format relative okay and a new passing uh, the new date function here uh, the parameter that we'll be passing is created at uh, variable from project uh, object okay and the new date fine so this is how we are going to showcase the uh, created at a date here format relative okay fine so after this uh, box section uh, this is where we are going to show uh, a delete button which uh, uh, allows the user to delete a respective project so there is a lot of things to handle in that so what i will do i will create a new uh, component inside the uh, projects uh, folder itself called project delete button and we'll handle all the uh, logic of deleting a project in that uh, component okay so let me create that folder so sorry file so that is project delete button dot tsx okay so now starting that uh, here let's name the component name as same as the file name project delete button and the input param for this component would be project id and the uh, handle remove callback function okay so and we will define the types of them so here project id of is of type string mm -hmm. so is of type string and the handle remove is uh, the callback function with the no input params and the return type is void okay yeah then after this we are going to configure the logic for our deleting button okay so we are going to use the toast here to showcase a kind of a pop-up button like kind of asking for user for double confirmation in order to just caution the user yeah whether to go for the delete option or cancel option okay so for that we are going to use the uh, toast okay and here uh, we have to call the one api in order to delete projects from our uh, projects table that we will configure eventually okay so now we'll focus on rendering part okay so here we're going to use the popover uh, component from chakra ui okay and in this this is how we're going to configure okay fine so here on close callback function and after this we're going to have one fragment and inside that we will wrap all the logic for a uh, pop-up uh, thing okay so first pop over uh, trigger so inside this we'll have one icon button and give some styling for this variant uh, let's give variant as a ghost and uh, a color scheme i'll give it as a red okay and area label uh, let's give this as a c menu icon uh, we are going to give it as a bs trash okay uh, sorry so icon is of type bs trash okay trash yeah so this is the icon okay uh, after uh, this we just close this uh, icon button okay fine so next after this trigger we we will uh, wrap the content of this uh, popover in component popover con content okay and uh, we'll give uh, the font size for this so font size will make this as a small okay and then the popover arrow 
then after this we'll have the header so header content so here we'll give your font weight okay font weight as a bold and uh, the header will be the confirmation text okay just beneath this we will configure the uh, body that is uh, pop over body okay and uh, in this we what we are going to write is are you show sure you want to delete this studio and training images okay so this is what we are going to show the content in uh, its body then after this i will configure the footer okay so pop over footer and uh, we'll make display as a flex and uh, justify content as a flex in and then inside this we'll have button group one to cancel and one to delete okay so button group and we will make the size as a small and inside this we'll have the two buttons as i said one is to delete and one is to cancel okay so here first on click we are, i'm just going to call on close callback function okay and then variant i'll give it as a outline and the text of this button would be cancel okay then after this one more button and uh, this button is for to delete the project so here button and the color scheme i'll give the red okay then on click on click here we have to call the uh, function where we will call uh, api to delete the project from our uh, project table so that we will configure any uh, eventually and uh, after this uh, after this uh, it's the uh, is loading variable so for now uh, we i'll keep uh, this as a false so later uh, depending on the api call uh, is loading variable we will update the value of is loading of this button okay then the finally the text of this button so the text of this button is delete okay so yeah so this is it uh, this is pretty much uh, for this uh, project delete button so let's go back to the project card okay and uh, so going back to the project card okay just beneath uh, this box i am going to use that project delete button which we have just written okay and here and i'll remove callback function again uh, so here we have not configured okay so here what we should do here is we should uh, call this handle uh, refresh projects uh, callback function okay so after this the project id so we will pass the id of our project object so that is project dot id so this is how we are going to use project delete button component in this project card okay after this okay so next thing that we are supposed to display is based on a value available in uh, ease waiting payment we are going to render a, a payment related ui okay so let's write that okay that is is waiting payment and uh, if this is true then we will render the ui related to the payment okay again uh, this is a pretty uh, big logic to handle i mean so let's write a separate component for us to handle this so let me write a new component inside the projects folder itself so let's name this as a form payment okay so form payment dot tsx okay so let's name the company name as same that is form of payment and the input params for this component is project and the uh, callback function that is handle payment success okay and then we are going to define the types of them that is project would be of type uh, project okay and then handle uh, payment success is 
anonymous function okay callback function with uh, no input parameters and return type as void okay and i'll import the uh, project okay from prisma client yeah so yeah after this okay so i would need one variable uh, to keep track of uh, are we waiting for payment or not so let's define this state uh, local state variable so let's name this as waiting of payment and uh, this callback function as set waiting payment and uh, use state so by default we'll keep this value as a false okay so next so we'll focus on rendering the ui okay so that is return okay and the wrap everything inside the box component okay and text align make uh, this as a uh, center width will make this as 100 percent then uh, based on waiting payment uh, variable we are going to display two separate UIs okay if that is the case okay if we are waiting for payment we are going to display the kind of a loader uh, spinner and then uh, showcase uh, text like you know validating payment okay fine so inside this box we are going to uh, handle that that is first the spinner component okay so we'll give speed as one second and the size as a pixel so yep after this okay text component okay text then margin top as uh, two and then size i'm going to make this as a small okay and uh, so text i should import from chakra ui okay so that is text okay yeah then finally uh, inside this text component i'm going to wrap the content here that is validating a uh, payment okay yeah so this is the uh, thing uh, if waiting payment is true okay if not this is what we are going to render okay so we will make uh, everything inside the v stack component and give the spacing here as a four okay and again uh, use the box component to wrap, uh, to wrap everything so here font weight okay font weight i would give here it as a black and the font size let me make this as a 3.5 rems okay and uh, then here we going to use make uh, make use of this uh, format uh, studio price okay so here and which we have already written a util function from uh, prices okay so we are going to display the price here and beneath this uh, a kind of showcase slash studio okay so this i'm going to wrap inside box component to give some styling so here uh, the styling uh, what i'm talking about is this one so so let me give margin left as uh, one and um let's make this act as a span and then font weight let's make this as 500 and uh, color i'll make this as cool gray okay so let's give you some 400 number and the font size this as 1.2 rems okay and uh, inside this box the content that will be showcasing is slash studio okay sign so after this then one more uh, box which says kind of like your studio is ready to be trained okay so just out of this uh, thing i'm going to use one more box and give here kind of highlight the text here so we'll make this as a bold and also font size little bigger as excel and the text that will be showcasing is your studio is uh, ready to be trained okay so yeah so let's exaggerate this okay yeah so this is your studio is ready to be trained then after this we are kind of uh, show uh, like kind of uh, three to four uh, list points kind of uh, what uh, the advantage you, you might get by training this project okay so the, again that we will uh, wrap around the list component so here in text align we'll give it as a left so yeah and uh, give spacing as one 
and uh, we will wrap everything inside the uh, checklist item component okay first thing is inside the bold i'll give here it as a one studio with a custom train model okay that's what we are uh, providing so let me write that okay that is one studio with again a custom train model will wrap in the bold uh, tag okay that is custom trained model okay so that is the first point and the next point that we'll be talking about is how many uh, shots uh, can be generated in this project okay so that point we will highlight here so again this we will wrap here so we'll we have configured the shorter mode in our environment variable so that is process dot env dot next public studio short amount okay so yeah this says how many uh, shots we can generate uh, once we train the project okay so then that is avatars and 4k generation okay so this is what we will be showcasing in our next uh, point okay and then one more point is like how many uh, prompt assist we are going to uh, provide by using openai completion api so that also we will uh, sh showcase here so that is so wrap the number inside the bold tag so saying it is a 30 okay and then provide the text okay that is ai prompt assist okay fine and one more finally one more point that we would be showcasing is your studio will be deleted uh, 24 hours after your credits are exhausted okay so we will caution the user what is the process that will be following okay so that is your studio will be deleted 24 hours after your uh, credits are exhausted okay so yeah so these are the four points that will be showcasing and finally a button and also the uh, list of the avatars that uh, user has uploaded okay so just outside this list component i'm going to use the button component okay and then uh, so make this act as a next link okay yep and uh, give variant as a brand and then uh, href okay so here uh, here we'll be providing an api uh, to uh, check out and make a payment to the stripe so we will configure that eventually then we will use that api endpoint here okay for now i'm leaving it as a blank okay and inside this the text that what we'll be saying is unlock now and uh, here we will again make use of that farmer studio price uh, util function okay mm -hmm. yeah so this is the uh, text of the button okay and uh, finally as i said inside a box component we will wrap uh, the other group showcasing the images that user has uploaded so give your padding top as a four okay and inside this make use of the avatar group and uh, give size as you know, medium and uh, give max images that will be showcasing is 10 okay and uh, inside this make use of that uh, project dot image urls and uh, map each url and showcase them using avatar component okay so then use the avatar component pass key and uh, source as url so yeah so this is pretty much it for the form component and uh, we will export this so that is export default form payment okay and we'll make use of this component inside our project card section okay so going back uh, there so this is where i'm going to use this that is uh, form payment and uh, here we have one uh, callback function handle payment success again uh, here i am going to call same callback function that is handle refresh projects and after this i will pass the project object 
yep so this is it so if this uh, waiting payment is true then we will be showcasing the comp payment component okay if not okay then uh, the other thing after this is based on is waiting training then uh, the text that you should be showcasing is uh, your studio is ready to be trained okay and also the urls of the user and uh, then asking him to start training so that section will showcase here okay so make use of that is waiting training and uh, render this section inside a fragment okay again wrap the same inside the vertical stack okay so vertical stack and uh, overflow i'll hide it so make this is hidden and the width again make this as 100 percent and spacing will give it as a four okay inside this first box is to say your studio is ready to be trained so let's write that so box and they give font weight uh, for this as a bold and the font size i will give it as excel so here your studio is ready to be trained okay yep so this is the first text i will be showcasing then after this we will show the avatar groups okay that is the images okay so avatar group again uh, size i'll give it as large and the max uh, i will allow 10 images okay and uh, then make use of that image urls attribute of project object and then make use of uh, each url and render the image using avatar component so avatar and pass key as url and source as url yep so this is for showcasing the uh, list of the image urls that user has uploaded then after this a button which loudly says to the user to start a training okay so that is button and give here variant as brand and the right icon i will okay right icon i'll give it as uh, io ios flash okay yep this is the thing then is loading so is loading again uh, we will uh, make this for now as false here we have to make use of the variables once we make a api call so that we will configure later okay then on clicking on this button we should start training okay so that also we should configure api call so we will eventually okay fine after this the text of this button is start training okay so this is when is waiting training is to this is what we'll be showcasing fine now uh, we have one more uh, variable that is uh, not one more we have many just after this based on uh, ready state okay we should showcase one more ui okay kind of like uh, Say, uh, say, uh, saying like you know go to your studio uh, and uh, start get started kind of thing and uh, again here if the project has a uh, no shot so then we will showcase some text and if not we'll showcase other text okay so this is what i'm going i'm talking about so based on is ready inside the uh, center component and make this as a overflow hidden and the width as 100% and the margin x will make this as auto okay and the inside vertical stack will wrap everything so spacing i'll give it as 7 so if there are no shots this is the text that will be showcasing that is uh, project dot shots then 
this is what will be showcasing so that is inside box i will wrap the text okay so give font size as a large and this is what will be talk showcasing so you don't have any prompt yet okay give some spacing and uh, highlight the content in bold that is go to your studio to add one okay so yeah this is what we'll be showcasing if there are no shots it, it is ready and if there are no shots in this project okay fine if not uh, this is what we'll be showcasing that is avatar group so whatever till now uh, he has generated using some prompts that images will try to showcase here okay so again avatar group uh, size will make this as extra large okay and max again uh, we will restrict it to the 10 images so this one and here make use of the uh, shots attribute and filter short okay based on you know short output url okay short dot output url and then map dot short and showcase that image using avatar component okay this that is short dot output url and the source again as short dot output url okay so yeah this is the uh, section to showcase if user has already generated some images and that we are going to generate using avatar group component okay fine after this a button uh, to just uh, which says like uh, view my studio okay so that is button and here the right icon I will give it as a right arrow right kind of arrow so okay so here this one okay then after this variant will make uh, it as a brand and then href okay here uh, we have to create a separate a studio page for each uh, project id so that we will uh, configure in the coming video so that url has to be passed here okay then and we'll make this act as a link component of for next okay yep and uh, here the content we will say it is as view my studio okay so this is when it is ready and these are the things we will be showcasing to the user okay fine so after this based on if it is training okay so then we should uh, kind of uh, uh, let the user know that like studio is creating the custom model might take some time so on so stuff okay so here we will make use of that uh, this training variable and accordingly we will render this ui so again uh, this i will wrap inside the center component okay and give margin x uh, as auto and then vertical stack okay give spacing as seven and then spinner component okay so make this size as uh, excel sorry size as excel and then make speed as two seconds okay so that is to showcase the uh, loading icon and then the text uh, inside the text component so give the text align as a uh, center and uh, max width as 220 rem okay and inside this the text that will be showcasing is the studio is creating okay and give some space and after this inside a bold uh, tag okay we'll write this this content the custom model based on your uploaded photos 
okay and then uh, so here so this operation might take some time something like that so this operation usually takes approximately 20 minute okay so this is what we'll be showcasing fine so that is thing and then uh, finally if more based on model status okay if it is failed so we have to let the user know that uh, something went wrong we are sorry so please contact us by email so that we can fix it or refund you kind of uh, uh, helpful message to the user so that we will render here so here project dot model status so here if it is failed then only we'll be showcasing this section so again inside the center component and give here margin x as auto okay and then inside the text component we'll write the text so give margin y as a 10 and the color color i'll make this as a red 600 okay and then text align center so the text that will be uh, say, uh, saying is we are uh, sorry but uh, the creation of the model failed please contact us by email so we can fix it or refund it okay so this is what uh, the message that will be showing to the user if project uh, creation is i mean model training is failed okay yeah so mostly this is it for the uh, project card uh, section so there is some issue where is it okay okay here so yep yeah so yeah so this is the uh, project card uh, component okay so let's head back to our uh, dashboard section and inside this make use of that uh, project card component and see what are we uh, going to see okay so inside this i'll make use of this uh, project card okay and here the first thing that will be passing is project object that is project and then the handle refresh projects callback function so here we have to pass a this uh, refresh projects uh, uh, callback function so this one yep fine okay so yeah i'm going to close this so this is it so there is an issue okay key prop also we should pass so that dom can uniquely identify this so for this i'm going to pass project id so this would be unique so yep yeah so this is it uh, for the dashboard uh, to render list of the projects that we have created so now let's head back to our browser and uh, check uh, if the list of the projects is visible in the dashboard page or not okay so going back to okay so here yep so trying to load the project yeah so first let's log in so give my email here and uh, send a magic link okay Okay, it's taking some time so let's hold on ideally this should not take this much time so I sense there is something wrong so let's head back and check no I don't see any issue either so yep the email has been sent so let's go to our email yep so click on sign in 
yeah signed in okay now you see the list of projects we are able to see here so ideally we had a uh, two projects in our uh, db so if we go back uh, to our uh, PostgreSQL DB you see here the projects we have created uh, for testing purpose was check 2 and check 3 okay so that is what uh, we are see seeing on this section okay and here uh, we had created a project delete uh, button component right so that is being used here so if you click here this is where we are seeing the popover section and all so now right now the delete uh, and all the functionalities are not configured but we focused on UI part so this is if you click on cancel it will close it and uh, this is what uh, we are uh, showcasing here so this is coming from your studio is uh, ready to be trained is coming from this section so go back to project okay yep so it's it's waiting training so we are sh showcasing this okay and also form payment okay so waiting payment is also true so we are showcasing that as well here and unlock button and also the whatever the images the user has uploaded okay so this is it for this video so in the next uh, section and all we will focus on uh, writing the functionality of deleting, uh, deleting and writing apis and other stuff okay yeah so this is it thank you so much